not lie to you guys some days when i'm filming i feel very shy and the beginning of the video is the hardest part to make i have some really exciting life updates i think that's why i'm nervous to film this part of the video even though it's like all really really positive things i'm just gonna jump right into it but i am just really excited to be obviously i'm at home right now i'm just so excited to be filming a home vlog for you guys okay first i will go through the biggest announcement and life update that i have and a lot of you guys will probably already know this by now and already have seen this on my instagram because i'm going to post i think a story today sort of just like announcing that i am moving i bought my first home a few days ago i actually closed on the house in nantucket i had to go to a real estate office and close on the house and sign the paper basically it just had to get notarized in order to close the house so you guys obviously know i've been renting this home that i'm in right now for two years now and i've said this before but i think you guys know that moving here completely changed my life i mean for so many reasons um the list goes on and on i honestly get really emotional talking about leaving this house because i feel like i did the most i'm like tearing up this house is like so special to me and i just love this house i still love this house i'm not leaving this house because i don't love this house um this was the place that i feel like i really found peace in my 20s and i became so independent and i grew my two businesses um dairy boy and american charm here our office was here i was just in new york having meetings for two days straight and a lot of the people that i met with asked me about my life in connecticut and um through a lot of the conversations what just came out was that when you're a lifestyle creator your job is creating content around your lifestyle and for so long i didn't like my lifestyle so i didn't love the lifestyle that i was living and then in turn i didn't like my content and then there's the public part of that so you don't love your lifestyle then you don't really love your content and then you're being perceived and also loved publicly and moving just changed all of that moving here changed all of that so yeah this house completely changed my life when i first started thinking about moving to connecticut it was just sort of like a idea honestly like a fantasy because i wanted to leave and i wanted to have a garden and i wanted to cook and i wanted to own horses ride horses but i wasn't ready to buy a house at the time and i needed a rental but i didn't want to live in an apartment and i honestly didn't really know what the home rental market looked like in the first day i started looking i saw this house and then literally the next day i drove out here to this house and then literally the next day i sent my application and i said this is my house i immediately knew when i walked in this house how charming it is how special it is i just knew that this was going to be my home for the next few years like there was no doubt in my mind when i walked through every room of this house that this was exactly what i needed so yeah i think you guys know how much like moving somewhere like this um has positively affected me but moving to now i am obviously moving out of this house and i'm moving into my new house very soon i basically was just ready to invest in a property that was fully mine and i really did need more space which is really funny because when i moved in here um alone i just thought i would have so much space but this is actually quite a small house i don't know if you can really tell in the videos but it is quite a small house and i'm outgrowing it and i just was really ready to make that personal investment also just having a little bit more privacy the house that i live in now is on a very very major road but yeah as like sad i am about having to leave this place that will always feel like home to me i'm also just so excited to be in my first home and i will not lie to you guys the idea of sharing this process even telling people that i bought my first house was a little bit daunting because first and foremost i don't want to seem like i'm being boastful or bragging but i also want to be sensitive to the fact that i am fully aware of the fact that i am very young um to be buying my first home alone and i just know how incredibly blessed and fortunate i am to even be in this position to even own two businesses to make branded content um i am 
incredibly, incredibly blessed. And I know that there are so many hardworking people in the world or who are watching this video who I just didn't want anyone to feel, feel badly or like they were behind in life if they saw me making this step. And obviously just the privacy aspect of this whole thing. With my job, I sacrifice so much of my privacy um, willingly online. Um, but the older that I've gotten, the more I am less willing. Maybe I'm just more aware, um, but I definitely find myself desiring um, more and more privacy. And that is a very difficult thing to navigate as a full-time YouTuber and as a full-time content creator and as someone who loves making home content. So yeah, that's sort of the update. I just sort of wanted to walk you guys through what was like going through my brain and just tell you guys that. And especially my YouTube community, the people that watch these videos are so incredibly supportive and sweet towards me. And I wouldn't have any of this without you guys. And I wanna make that abundantly clear that I have the life that I have and I can live the life that I live because of you guys. And there's not a day that goes by that I don't um, feel blessed, grateful, and like acknowledge what I have because of you guys. I haven't decided if I'm gonna do any like moving vlog yet which sort of gets into like the next part of this life update so if you guys didn't watch my last youtube video i talked briefly about how i want to make now in my life just like a little bit less tennis content and i just really want to focus on content that really inspires me and just really makes me feel good doing the things that i love and i just want to make sure that my content is fully a reflection of me and my interests and because i was traveling on the road with tommy so much and like i said in the last video it was sort of so easy for me to fall into doing tennis content because of how much content there is to cover through tennis and through traveling but after vlogging every week uploading every sunday for over a year i sort of just started reflecting on what I want and I think that's really important as a creator to constantly be reflecting on every year and it's okay to adjust and change things um like that's been a very important part of me being a creator not only am I growing as a person and changing and evolving as a person but it's important that my content reflects that so I've just been doing some like thinking about the content that I want to be creating especially now that Dairy Boy and American Charm are so getting so big and it's taking up so much of my time so much of my job now is running my businesses i obviously do do a lot of branded content so i'm just thinking about the content that i want to be making and i um know that and you guys know that my cooking home content is so me and it makes me so happy and i guess i just don't have time to do everything and i want to make sure that i'm taking care of myself so something that i am thinking about and this is not a definite decision but um, maybe posting less on YouTube I upload every single week and I do love it and I really want your guys feedback on this but once a week is a lot but I'm very proud that I upload once a week like I do think that that has been a really cool challenge and goal that I did accomplish so now I'm just sort of like what's my next goal on YouTube and I guess I'm just figuring that out and I wanted to let you guys know that. So for today, I'm gonna run out right now. I need to get my nails done. Guys, I'm getting really over long fake nails. I do go through phases with them, I won't lie. Where I have really short natural nails and then I get extensions, it goes back and forth. Like I can't make up my mind about it. But right now I will not lie. My nails are giving me the ick. So I'm gonna go take care of these and then I wanna run to Ulta and then I was gonna run to my favorite farm stand. I really wanna cook dinner tonight. Also, there's a lot going on at my house because I'm packing. This is my outfit for today. This shirt is just from Brandy. And then these jeans are just vintage Levi's. And my headband is from Dairy Boy. We, with our PJ drop, we launched matching socks and headbands to the PJs. So, so yeah, I'm gonna go get these nails fixed, I guess. Done. I need a natural moment. That's what I'm feeling. So let's go. All right. I think I'm gonna quickly run into town before I get my nails done and grab a bite to eat. Guys, is it gonna be really weird not seeing me at this house? It's so weird that I'm moving. <laughs> okay, just got a turmeric ginger lemonade, coffee cake, 
then I just got a container with, it has half Brussels sprout salad in it and half kale. guys super boring i was getting my nail extensions off and then i was liking the way my nails were looking underneath the extensions so i decided to just remove the extensions and i have naked nails with no polish it honestly feels really good and with the move and everything um i think it'll be nice to have just nothing on my nails i will just need to get them done before emma's wedding okay just have a few calls to hop on currently we actually give everyone fridays off in the office at dairy boy so fridays are actually usually a pretty chill day for me on my business side of things but we have so much coming up with our pop-up in new york city which actually was supposed to be a part of what i was saying to you guys this morning I feel like some of you probably know by now, but we are coming back to New York City for another pop-up this year, which is just so crazy and exciting. I can't believe it's almost been a year. There is so much planning, but you'd have no idea how much planning would go into something like this. It really takes like a year to plan and we're doing it bigger this year and we have more products and everything about it is just like bigger. So we have a lot to get done before, um, the pop-up so everyone's been um just working really hard and I, and everyone's been honestly kind of working on fridays just because there's just so much going on right now but all good things so i'm gonna hop on a quick call hey hey you sound sick are you sick no something happens with my voice when i have a couple drinks i like think i have to go to the doctor it's been like this for like two months maybe you just are you singing <laughs> No, are you just going like, to karaoke? No, but it's like... Okay, I'm about to send off this email to Allison. I'm really excited okay. about that. Um, okay. I just wanted to touch base with you about um, kind of just everything before the weekend. Obviously, like, I know we're probably going to be working on the weekend too, but um, just going over... Hello. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm really good. Okay, they have a lot to cover. If I was leaving during the day, I would say that would be bad, but I probably am going to take the red eye on Sunday. So um, I'll try to um, see if I can go shoot that on Sunday. Okay, so the farmer's market that I normally go to is called Vivi's Veggies. It's basically a little farm and she sells her vegetables and does all sorts of different stuff. She's the sweetest. I absolutely adore her but she's not open today so i'm gonna go tomorrow but i'm gonna run to just like my local food market that has some fresh produce and that's actually right next to a seafood market so i'm gonna run in there now i'm gonna make a bean corn salad tomorrow with the corn once i go to the the other farmer's market now i'm just gonna start marinating this shrimp i'm gonna peel um and prep this shrimp okay shrimp are all cleaned and peeled i'm gonna just start by squeezing a whole lemon on the shrimp salt pepper gonna just chop some parsley i'm gonna put some chili flakes so i'm just gonna put this back in the fridge to sit until before we eat i'm gonna sear these to put on top of the salad okay i have to do a few more things on the computer and then i'm going to um prep the salad and start making crab cakes okay so for the base of this salad i'm gonna use some bib lettuce this is my favorite salad bowl. I bought it at an antique store in upstate New York. My other camera died. So if the quality looks a lot better, that's why.
Okay, so here's the base for the salad. I'm going to sear the shrimp now. Okay, so the crab cakes are basically, by the way, this is Olivia's mom's recipe. It's basically mayonnaise, jumbo lump crab meat, and then a crab cake seasoning pack. It's really simple, but it's literally the best crab cakes I've ever had. I've had it since I was little, and it is so good. I'm gonna run downstairs now and watch Tommy play in his doubles match. The match today will depend on if he wins a bronze medal, which is so exciting. But today I want to go ride and I want to go to another farm stand. I also think my dad and mom are gonna come over for dinner tonight. My mom is actually here now with me, but I think my dad is gonna come over for dinner tonight, so. It'll be really nice to spend the night with them. I love being able to cook for them, so that's exciting. Okay, gonna go watch the match, and then I'm gonna, I think, get dressed to go ride, and then while I'm out, run to the market. That's right. Here's my outfit for the day. Just wearing flare jeans and then this little top from Realization. I did not wake up very hungry today, but I'm gonna have a little bit of a peach because they're in season and they're so good right now. Oh, so here's the, the melons, oh, and then to the left, yeah. you see the green ones, those oh, yeah. are uh, the watermelons. I have to come back for watermelons. Yeah, melon. Pineapple what? Round cherry. A little boy ate one, he couldn't believe it, he's like, Mom! <laughs> okay, so today's haul, I got cut a bunch of tomatoes, I'm gonna make a sun gold tomato pasta tonight. Got some eggplant, some summer squash, and then some more tomatoes. Also got some fresh greens. Okay, so I'm gonna start prepping a bunch of this food. I'm gonna be making a few different things, some of which I'm not gonna be eating tonight. I'm gonna to make an eggplant caponata. Um, I think for my flight, I have to fly to LA for a few days. I honestly don't really wanna go, but I am excited to be back in the office with my team. Okay, my mom and I are making some corn black bean salsa. So this is actually Rotel. What is that? It's like, it's like chilies and tomato kind of adds like a spice and then we added some cilantro we're gonna add black beans and corn and onion and fresh tomato and a little bit of fresh tomato too this is just for like the spice i also think like the juice of this is good for salsa and then i'm gonna make my eggplant once this is done okay so while that corn is cooking for our salsa i'm just gonna start peeling this eggplant actually don't peel off all the skin for this um I just take off a majority. I like a little bit of skin on my eggplant, so I love the consistency of eggplant. Do you know what I'm saying? Feels like, I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> so I'm gonna cube this fresh eggplant. And then I'm just gonna salt it right on the baking dish. And I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit so it just draws out the moisture. And then I'm going to roast it with some salt and olive oil to start my eggplant caponata. Is it called caponata or, yeah, caponata? I have no idea. 
Is it top or is it top and odd or something like that? No, it's not top and odd. I don't know. That's babe. olive. Oh, olive. okay, but it's like the same kind of thing. It's right? a similar appetizer um, thing. This is literally my favorite time of the year because of the fresh vegetables that are available. I'm gonna do another eggplant. Okay, no. Okay, just gonna salt the eggplant. My mom hates salt. Are you sick watching me? No, that's what you have to do. Okay, okay I'm gonna let this sit and then what's next? Hi! Hi! Okay, guys, I just washed all of the tomatoes I'm gonna use for my pasta sauce tonight, but I've never tried a green tomato. I think the green tomatoes aren't ripe. It's gorgeous. It looks right. Here, let's try one together. No, thank you. Come on. No, please. No, nope. <laughs> I'm cutting please. onions. I'm very busy right now. I don't. I'm not a really huge fan of like plain tomatoes. I like them in stuff. I don't really like them on their own. Okay. Whoa. You gotta try. No, no, I'm good. Come on. Yay! <laughs> what? Where'd it go? Oh, <laughs> you know, you put onion on it. Oh my god, she piece. cheated. It's really good, but I think it's not right. Oh, it's totally right. How could it be riper? Can you save this for me? Do you need it? No, I don't need that one. Okay, now I'm just gonna cut up this leftover onion from the salsa for my pasta sauce tonight. Okay, the salsa has come together. It is so good. We also added some agave, which really adds to it. Where's the agave? I can show up. Plugging my family's company. The best agave. It actually is really good. It's the only agave that I use. Very cute. Anyways, gonna put some of this in this container for my parents to bring home. And it really needs to be chilled, so we're gonna do that. Eggplant is looking good. Gonna put this in the oven in like five minutes. Okay, the eggplant done. Just adding this eggplant to some chopped up green peppers, red peppers, some tomatoes. I'm gonna also add some celery to this and then I'm gonna let it cook down. And then after I let it cook down, I'm just gonna add some tomato paste, maybe a little bit more olive oil, and then some seasoning. Also definitely gonna add some sort of sweetness to it, probably a little bit of agave. And then it has to be chilled. It's such a good summer snack slash appetizer. In the meantime, I just added these onions and a bunch of garlic with some salt and olive oil to just let them sweat a little bit and get them sort of just soft. And I like doing this pretty low and slow. And then I'll add the tomatoes in a little bit. Okay, added some butter to this. I'm gonna keep this on really low until these caramelize a lot because there's just gonna be so much more flavor because this is a really simple pasta. It's literally this and tomatoes. So um, just wanna make sure that these really caramelize. So you Gonna add some tomato paste to this. Okay, this is all done. I just need to pop it in a container to chill. Okay, this has been simmering for a long time. I'm gonna pop this in the blender, put it right back, and sometimes I don't even add cream, but I'm gonna test it. Gonna add a little bit of heavy cream. Fresh parm. Okay guys, good morning. We are in my closet and it is very, very empty. I feel like I've said this now like three times in the vlog, but it is so weird that I am packing up and moving. But today it is Sunday and I am flying to LA tonight. I'm going to be in the office for three days and then I'm flying back for Emma's wedding next weekend. So I think I'm just going to pack a carry-on to LA. I've really tried to set up my apartment in LA so I could just come over with a little bag and not bring so much luggage because I'm always traveling with just so much luggage. I also have not even unpacked from New York yet. This has sort of been my life recently. Packing, traveling, coming back, barely unpacking, packing again. 
but I'm hoping after August, but after August, I'm gonna try to really take a break besides a few tennis tournaments. Anyways, I'm going to pack now for LA. This is the little carry-on that I'm gonna try to pack for LA. I'm literally going for three days, so I really don't need anything, and I have everything that I need in LA. So I'm probably literally just gonna bring like a few things and my makeup. A brand sent me this L.L. Bean bag. I wish I knew what brand sent it to me, but they sent me this massive L.L. Bean like boating beach bag. It's huge. It's very sturdy. I'm obsessed with it. I'm definitely gonna bring this to LA because I feel like I'm always schlepping stuff into the office and I never have a big enough bag. So I'm definitely gonna bring this. I don't think I'm gonna film a vlog in LA this week. I'll probably just do a wedding vlog for Emma's Wedding, that could be really cute. I keep finding these on the floor because these are our new hang tags. And I just think they're so precious. I like don't want to throw them away. They're so cool. Okay, gonna pack my makeup now. And then once I'm all packed, I will check in with you guys and show you what I'm packing for my snack. But I do need to move fast because I want to get this video up before I leave the airport okay this bag is all packed now i'll just take you guys through my carry-on quickly i prefer these right now over the apple ones they did give these to me but i do really love them and then i have this pouch which is just like electronic stuff my one of my cameras a battery pack charger and since i'm not vlogging this trip this is going to be much lighter and then i have a little i guess beauty thing i have a mask for the plane i have a little brush a little lip balm a little perfume and then i don't know why my reading glasses are in here but and then i just have a claw clip we're actually sampling dairy boy computer cases i really really need one of those because i just throw this computer right in my bag charger it's honestly a really light carry-on travel day which is such a treat this is my wallet passport and then I'm just gonna go grab my snacks. And that is all for that. So that is my carry-on for today. Okay, now I'm just making a snack for the plane. I'm just gonna do some fruit and then cucumbers and then some of the eggplant that I made yesterday. Okay, here's my eggplant I made yesterday. Ranch for my cucumbers. I just have these little chips for the eggplant. Some cut up fruit. Here are my cucumbers. And that is all. I am off to LA. I will see you guys next week. We have a very busy summer coming up, so I will see you guys very soon, and I love you. And thank you for all your support, as always.